One day, Dragon was reading a book about parts of the world he'd never been to. It looked very exciting. Ooh, his living room did not seem exciting at all. Ah Dragon had seen everything in his living room many, many times. Even his new banana didn't seem exciting anymore. What I need is a holiday, decided Dragon. I should go someplace new and explore. Dragon liked that idea. He liked exploring. <laughs> Dragon decided if he was going to go exploring, he should look like an explorer. Dragon didn't own any special explorer's clothes. But he did have a plastic mixing bowl that looked a lot like... an explorer's pith helmet. Now Dragon looked like a true explorer, and he happily headed off to explore. Dragon decided maybe he didn't actually need to look like a true explorer to be an explorer after all. <laughs> Dragon plans his trip. Dragon was all set to go on an exploring holiday. But first, he had to decide where he was going to go exploring. Then he had a great idea. Wherever his finger landed, that's where he would go. He landed in the middle of a great big patch of water, the Pacific Ocean. Dragon decided that was not the best choice, since he was not a very good swimmer. He'd try again. This time, Dragon landed in another great big ocean, the Atlantic. He was hoping for something a little drier. He tried one more time. It seems the globe had decided to go exploring too. Luckily, Dragon had a large map, a drawing of all the places in the world there are to explore. Maps are a very good way to decide where you are going next. I think I'll start my trip here, he said. And then I'll go here. Then I can travel over to this interesting place. And finally I'll visit here. Dragon was happy. He had figured out where he was going to go exploring. As soon as he got himself unstuck, that is. Dragon carefully packed the very important things he would need for his trip. His toothbrush, 
His pajamas. his favorite balloon. Now he was all ready to go. He was about to leave on his holiday when he decided maybe he should bring a few other important things with him, just in case. Dragon decided to bring along his favorite spoon, in case they didn't have spoons where he was going. I'd better pack my favorite bowl. And since he was bringing a spoon and bowl, oh. Dragon thought, he might as well bring along a bit of food, too. He would need a big box. Dragon packed as much food as he could into his suitcase and his box. Still, he had quite a bit of food left over. So, he ate it. Now that he'd eaten all the extra food, Dragon was ready to go. Except, Dragon was too full to move. He'd leave on his holiday tomorrow. Dragon loads the car. Dragon put his box and his suitcase in the car and was ready to go on his holiday. He was ready to go exploring. Then, he suddenly wondered whether it got dark at night where he was going. I'd better bring my lamp with me, in case I need a light, he decided. Dragon thought about it and decided he should take his sofa too, and his chair and his kitchen table. All important things he might need while he was away on his holiday. He even decided to bring his rock collection, just in case. Soon, Dragon had taken everything he owned outside, ready to join him on his holiday. Mail Mouse strolled by and was confused to see all of Dragon's things outside. Are you moving? I'm going on a holiday and might need my things, explained Dragon. Wow! Hmm. Oh, you've got everything here but the kitchen sink. Dragon wasn't really sure he needed to bring his kitchen sink with him, but he decided it was best to be prepared. Dragon finally goes exploring. Dragon got everything loaded on the car and was finally ready to go on his holiday. All he needed now was to lock his front door. Dragon took one last look to make sure he hadn't forgotten anything. He was surprised. I've never seen my house completely empty before. Oh. It looked so different. It was almost like he'd never been here before. This was very exciting. Dragon was happy. He didn't have to go far at all to find something to explore on his holiday. Here was a big empty house to explore and have fun in. He played with the echoes. He played with his hula hoop and didn't have to worry about knocking things over. <laughs> he 
stood in places he'd never stood in before. He danced wherever he pleased. all done having fun and exploring his empty house, Dragon made himself a nice dinner of cornflakes and carrots, and then went to bed. It was a good thing he'd packed his stove and his bed, he thought. I am a very clever dragon, he happily sighed. And now it was time to dream clever dragon dreams. He'd explore the house some more in the morning on his wonderful holiday.